Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked. And today I'm coming at you with some extremely exciting news. You can now put Magic Lantern on your T3i. Now I know a lot of people have been waiting for it, and it's a pretty simple procedure on doing so. I'm going to actually be walking you through the process of putting Magic Lantern on your T3i. Now it is missing a few features that the T2i has as far as some of your audio controls. Um, but it seems like it has all the exposures and uh, most of the other features that the T2i has on its Magic Lantern, the T3i has as well. So let's kind of dive into this. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the Canon website and you're going to download the newest firmware um, for your T3i. Now this will be labeled link number one in the description bar, so you don't have to worry about going and looking for this. Just go on and sc uh, scroll down in the description bar. It's going to be link number one. Click on it. It's going to take you to this website. Now you're going to click drivers and software here. And you're going to click firmware. Now before you do all this, you need to pick an OS. Um, for me, I'm using Mac OS uh, 10.6. So I'm going to go on and click on that. And I'm going to hit click firmware. Um, now if you're using a different firmware, um, then you should probably click on it uh, if you're using Windows or something like that. But you also have the option. This is a DMG file and this is a .exe file. Now what that means is .exe is for PC and DMG is for Mac. So I'm going to go ahead and click the Mac version. Click download. Now it's going to kind of give me a little information. Yada yada yada. I'm going to click I agree. It's going to go on and download. and it looks like it's going to take some time so I will be back with you guys when this is finished okay now that your DMG is done installing and mainly what you do is you just click show and finder here or you, if you know your download folder just go to that right click open now for PC or Mac users you're going to use your .fir file here and you're just going to drag and drop that right into all right onto your card um, in my case it's a 16 gig card that I use my T3i and now I'm going to show you now Rainley what I'm going to show you how to do is update your Canon T3i and then we're going to install Magic Lantern on it um, I've got the card I put it into my T3i now we're going to install the Canon firmware update but before we do so, you need to make sure that you're in one of your manual settings. I just put mine in manual. It can't be in like the video setting. Uh, do the fact that you can't update it that way. So we're going to hit menu. Then we're going to scroll down to the third wrench. We're going to click firmware. We're going to click current version. We're just going to go on and do an update. It's going to load the card and find the update on it. And I'm pretty much putting the same firmware update on top of what I've already got on there. It's the same exact uh, update, so it's not gonna hurt your camera. Uh, hit that, we're gonna click OK. It's going to update. It takes um, maybe about 20, 30 seconds. It's pretty fast once it starts its first uh, percentage where it jumped, as you saw it just jumped to 27%, so, and it's pretty fast after that. We're gonna click OK. And we're going to do one more thing before we head down to the computer. We're going to hit menu again. We're going to scroll over to the middle wrench. We're going to, or to the first wrench. We're going to hit format. Uh, now, if you see, I have the low level format. Now, you can do the low level by hitting the trash can, which is down here. It's going to take your low level on or off. I always just do a low level format um, just because previous people that I've seen that have done this installation and things I've read, low level seems to be the way people do it. Click OK. Alright, now that's finished and now we're going to head back to the computer and download Magic Lantern. Alright, we are at the second website that we're going to need to be at and this is where you're going to download Magic Lantern for your Canon T3i. Now this will be link number two and you will scroll down from the top to you hit which are three different websites. Now if I'm not correct, the first website is the Canon T2i update for Magic Lantern. The second website is the 60D update for Magic Lantern. And the third website is the T3i or 600D uh, update for Magic Lantern. 
Now you can pretty much use the steps I'm giving you today with your 60D, your T3I, your TTY. So the only thing that's going to change is you're going to get, it depends on which file you get here. So I believe the third one is the correct one. Now you know it's the right one is because you're going to read through this and you're going to see right up here where it says 600D. Uh, so you know that's the T3I is the 600D. Now if I click on the middle one, which I believe is the 60D, you're going to see it's for 60D. And then if you click on the first one, it is going to give you the 550D, which is the Canon T2I. So, of course, we want to, and we'll just X out of this, we'll click this one more time, the 600D. So we're going to want to click it to download it. And it takes a few seconds for it before it starts to download. And here it goes, and it pretty much downloads instantly. So we're going to click Show and Finder, and we're going to double click on it. It's going to unzip. Now, I know some people are having some problems with zipping out there. Your Mac should be able to unzip it. Um, these files without uh, an outside uh, unzipper, I should say, I guess. But if uh, it doesn't, send me a message. I found some software. I don't know if it helped the person that asked. Um, I would be more than happy to look up uh, a free unzipping program again on, um, on the Internet for you and, and send you a link to it. So uh, double-click on the folder. Now, the only thing that we need to worry about is your .fir. Now, if you notice, anytime you do a firmware update with Canon, it always seems to have a .fir, and I'm guessing that's their, their code for updates for firmware. So we're going to drag this .fir onto the ESO digital. All right, now we're going to go back to the computer, and we're going to install the Magic Lantern firmware. And once you have that, then you'll be able to install the features of the Magic Lantern. Let's throw the card in the camera. Let's hit... Once it registers it, let's hit menu, third wrench, firmware. Yes, we want to do an update. So Magic Lantern will update now on it automatically. It is as simple as that. We're going to hit menu, format. I'm going to do the low level again. OK. Now we're going to go back to the computer and put the features on there. All right, I have reinserted the card into my card reader on my computer. I am still have the folder open, but before we do anything else, there are two different ways to install um, to install the the Magic Lantern features, and it's this folder. And just to let you know, you're going to be putting these two folders onto your card. But first, you have to make your card what's called bootable, which pretty much means it makes it so that. Uh, the Canon T2i or T3i can actually read the card so it can access the, all the extra bonus features that ML has. So bef there are two ways to make it bootable. Now I'm going to show you the way that I originally figured out way back in the day and to, me, to, to this day this is still the way I use it. I'm going to go up to Spotlight, I'm going to type in TER, which is going to pop up Terminal. I'm going to click on Terminal. I'm going to type in D-I-S-K-U-T-I-L L I S T and uh, type that in. I'm going to hit enter. Then I'm going to go find my card. Now, this is a 16 gig card, so I have a couple different options, but I know that this is my card right here 16 gigabyte. So I'm going to highlight the bottom, the one that's disk 4 S1. I'm going to command C it, which means I'm going to copy it. Now, what I'm going to do is click on what's called makebootable.sh double click on that open now I'm going to see where it says change this and I'm going to change it right here and this is all you're going to change is just this little tiny bit command V which is copy or paste my apologies command V is paste so now you have that now I'm going to command A highlight everything command C again copy everything I'm going to go back to the terminal which is here. I'm going to open up a new window. I'm going to command V and paste all that in there. It's going to run a code. When it actually gets done running, if you notice, my memory card is no longer there because it runs the code and then the memory card uh, pretty much kicks off. 
So what you'll do is you'll take the card out of your SD card reader, put it back in your SD card reader. And by the way, you cannot install this going through your camera. You have to have an SD card reader of some sort connected to the computer. So as you notice, my card is back on. And the only two things we're going to put on there is three things is docs, crop marks, and dot. These three items. Now, I don't know if you need to put docs on there or not, but I just throw it on there anyways. It doesn't hurt the camera. You're going to take these three, and you're going to go in here. Okay. Once those three cards are on there, then you take this, and we'll pop it into the T3i, and you'll have uh, the T3i um, ML functions. But before we do that, I'm going to show you one other way to make the card bootable. Um, and so I'm going to put in a different card, and we're going to make it bootable. So I'm going to pull this out here, and we're going to pop in a second card, and I'm going to show you how to make it bootable. Now, this is a program that actually does it. Now, when this program originally came out, it did not work, and uh, really, in the, I think it really started working maybe three or four months ago before they actually figured out all the bugs. So we're going to exit out all of this stuff right here all this terminal stuff and we're gonna go to what is gonna be our third link which is called MacBoot now it's gonna take you to this website and this will be the third link on, on the description and you're gonna scroll down to where it says to download this app yada 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 now this is for Mac only sorry about you PC users out there there is a PC version of this software but I don't know too much about it I used it when I originally put Magic Lantern on my computer back in December of 2010 so since then I'm using Mac only. So I'm going to click here. It's going to download. We're going to show in Finder. We're going to double click. It's going to open up. Now you're going to double click to open it up. You're going to click open. It's going to, okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Let's see if we can get it to open. Sometimes it, it's a little quirky. That's why I don't like to use it too much. Now uh, I have a four gig card in. So actually I need to throw in an eight gig card because apparently MacBoot will only work with 8 gig or higher. By the way, you need to have a class 8 or higher to run ML. Sometimes some some class um, some class 3s do work or class 6s do work, but really you're supposed to have a class 8 or higher to uh, to get ML to work on your T3i or T2i. So this is an 8 gig card, so we're going to click 8 gig. Uh, select card drive. I believe it is okay, it looks like I'm thinking it's disk 5. I'm not positive. Um, and you can go through here. No, that's 4. So, all right. Tell you the truth. I believe it is disk 2, actually. 7 gigs. And mine's an 8 gig card. So, you're going to click on Make DSLR Bootable. And then you're going to click, uh, oh, I guess you click Refresh. And it's going to find it for you. There you go. So it's going to be disk 4. So you hit refresh, and I don't know how to use the software as well as I should. You hit refresh, and you can go up here, and you can look to see what it is, and then it will it will match up with the amount of gigabytes that your card has with disk. So that's not the right one. Disk 2 is not the right one, but disk 4 is an 8-gig card. So make bootable. Then you're going to click prepare card, and it prepares it real quick, so you don't have to pop it in and out here. Then you'll go back to your Magical Lantern, and you'll click on Docs, Crop Marks, Auto, Dot, Bin. You're going to click and drop it in there. And so ML is now on both of these cards. So now we're going to see if the terminal version worked and the Mac boot version worked. Let's pop in the terminal version of T3i that we use terminal. Let it read it. Let's scroll all the way down to video settings. Let's hit delete. And there you go. You now have Magic Lantern on your T3i. Now, as you notice, we have quite a few more features, and I need to go over them. And I hopefully will be doing a video on some of the new features. And uh, after I've used ML for a couple days, I'm going to kind of talk about it because they've done a lot of updates since I last updated Magic Lantern on my T2i. Now, as you can see, you only got just audio meters for the T3i, and then you have most of the other nice features of the um, 
of the T2i's version. Pretty much got everything I think the T2i has, minus all your audio features. So that kind of sucks. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off, pop out this, and we're going to see if the second way we, using Mac boot, if that worked as well. Like I said, I mostly use terminal, but I know some people Mac boot might be a little bit easier for. So I went on and showed you how to do it. All right, and we're just gonna hit delete again. And Mac boot worked as well, it looks like. So you have the ML on the T3i and the T2i, which is pretty awesome. Now I don't know why it's telling me I don't have audio. And we're gonna see if I can figure that out real quick. Um, Sound manual, okay, so we just want to do auto. And let's see here. Huh, so apparently the audio is not working. Audio meters aren't working for some reason. And I don't know if the audio is actually working on my camera, so let's actually do a little recording. Nope, it's there, okay, so we have audio. It just for some reason wasn't green. I was thinking that with this new version, and I still got to get used to this new version. I was thinking this was going to be green if the audio was working. So that is how you install Magic Lantern on a T2i. And technically speaking, uh, you can use that same exact function for the T2i, T3i, and the 60d, or the 550d, 600d, or the 60d. So I hope this helped. Feel free to leave comments down below. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. As well, send me messages if I, for some reason, miss your comment. I usually always get a message, and I'm more than happy to answer it for you. So you guys have a wonderful day, and I hope this helped you out.